hey happy Wednesday we're halfway through the week and I'm still trying to do the thought for the day but this morning I was studying and I come across this term it's uh, pronounced misio day it's a term which means mission of God or ascending God and that's kind of what gave me the thought for today you know um, everything I'm studying about purpose and um, reason that we're here and everything and how everything has evolved from Genesis forward and it made me think about it you know this is something that maybe people need to hear and be reminded of God put us here for a purpose we do all have a purpose and our lifespan is about finding that purpose well the purpose God put us here was to spread his word he, he's building his kingdom. He's been building his kingdom for the last 2,000 years, and he's trying to finish. We are in the last days of the completion of the kingdom. But in order to finish that, it takes each and every one of us doing our part. Well, the more people that are doing their part, the faster we're going to get this kingdom completed. So, uh, this term, Mizio Dei, meaning... Um, sending of God or God sending God started by sending his son here to set an example to show us what to do and then when Jesus left he gave these instructions to his disciples and his disciples were to give those instructions to their disciples and so on and so forth so um, it's very simple that we're put here to serve so that's what I was thinking about this morning was serving Jesus was a king, but he didn't come here to be served. He came here to serve, just like it says. The kingdom of God is so different from the kingdoms on earth, and maybe that's why it's so hard for people to understand. In his kingdom, the last will be first, and the first will be last. So, um, in John 17, 18, he's explaining to his disciples, and he's talking, and he's saying, this is what... I want you to do right so just as you sent me into the world I'm sending them so he's talking about sending his disciples who are then to continue the work in John 20 21 Jesus says peace be with you as the Father has sent me even so I'm sending you and the people are scared because they don't know hey what if I can't do it because that's a lot of our fear today is what if I can't do it uh, maybe God's calling me to do this but I'm not sure about it and uh, in John 16 13 when the spirit of the truth comes he will guide you into all truth here he's talking about the Holy Spirit and it's very simple that a calling from God is not always first of all it's not always to preach that is not <laughs> everybody's calling he made every single person individual unique everybody has their own talent and what you do is you take the talent that he gave you the thing that you feel fulfilled feel full, fulfilled in doing and you use that as a tool people think oh when God calls you it means I got to go do something I don't want to do I've got to go to a third world nation and do without food and water in order to witness to people or I've got to be a preacher I've got to start a church that's not what it means that's not what God's calling you to do when you feel something that gives you peace inside something that you can do that you enjoy that's your calling and you take that calling and you use it to serve God because if you're doing what you feel fulfilled doing then that's what God made you for. And that's where so many people make a mistake. Maybe they find a job that is doing something good, but they don't feel fulfilled doing that job. So you're still not serving your purpose. Or people find a job they love, but the job they love has no purpose. So finding what God has for you, your unique talent, and use it, to serve God it could be anything there's so many ways to influence and to do good just gotta find a little niche in the world so that's my thought for today look for your purpose because when you find it you will feel a joy and a peace inside like no other you will wake up every day 
with a smile on your face, knowing that when you start this day, you're going to be doing something you enjoy and that God enjoys you doing. And I am a perfect example. I wake up with a smile on my face every morning, and I can honestly say it hasn't always been that way. So right now, I am thoroughly enjoying experiencing God's calling, and I'm enjoying digging deeper into that so I can be the best that I can be for what God wants me to do. So, a little bit long thought for today, but still a thought for today. Bye.